Hello everyone, uh, let's solve the problem minimum number of valid strings to form, form target 1 which has been asked in weekly contest 415. Now if you see the submissions are around 23k but the acceptance rate is near about 10%. So this problem can be categorized as hard problems in the medium category. I will try to explain this problem in a best possible way. So first thing we will solve in this problem right first we will understand the question then we will identify which type of data structures needs to be used to solve this problem then we will see the basic try concepts then we will see like how try is applied to this problem then we will write the brute force solution then we will optimize the solution using DP. So this is the approach we are going to follow. So for better understanding and for complete understanding of the problem please watch the video till the end. Now, let's understand the question. You are given an array of string words and a target. This is my words and this is my target. A string x is called valid if x is a prefix of any string in words. He's saying that x is valid if x is a any prefix in any word. Hmm? Right? Return the minimum number of valid strings that can be concatenated to form a target. We need to return the minimum number of valid strings. If it is not possible to form a target, we need to return minus 1. If it is not possible, we need to return minus 1. A prefix of a string is substring that start from the beginning of the string and extend to any point within it. This is most important thing. Prefix is something which will start from the beginning and it can end at any position. This position or this position or this position. Any position it can end. At any position it can end. Now let's see the example for complete understanding. Now these are my words and this is my target. This is my target. This is my zero index, one index word, and second index word. Now, first, first I am taking a from my zero index. I am taking only a. Sorry, from the index one. Any from anywhere you can take. From index one, I have taken a. From index zero, I have taken one more a. I formed this a. Now I form this a. Now you need to take b c d. Now you need to take b c d. From two. I am taking B, C, D only prefix at any point you can end at any point you can end but you need to start you need to start from the beginning B, C, D now you found with B, C, D now you are left with A, B, C so I will take 0 0 this is so how many strings you got 4 you got 4 you got but he is saying that we need to return the minimum number of valid strings and one more thing you need to remember is any index 0, 1, 2 can be taken any number of times can be taken any number of times it's not like it's restricted only once you need to take or you need to take only twice it's not restricted you can take any number of times he did not mention in the question but we need to think in that way right we need to get few of the conclusions now if you see the optimal is prefix of len2 of word in prefix of len2 he has taken a a a a then b c d from this two and then a b c from here if you are taking this we have got answer as three now let's see this example length 0 length 0 you've taken yes formed this is pretty much pretty easy and straightforward you got i think you got it now a b c d f and x y z can you form x y z you are not able you will not able to form so i will return minus one if you are not able to form you will return minus one now the constraints are my word length can be up to 100 and my total words can be up to 10 power 3 and my target length can be up to 10 power 3 so maximum target length can be 3 so you can consider like my maximum target length is 10 power 3 right 10 power 3 is my max target length now if you are considering if you are taking every word you are taking every word in the strings in word string you are taking every word then maximum you can reach till 10 power 3 so my, my maximum answer can be till 10 power 3 now let's understand like to calculate it very quickly if you want the prefixes if you want to calculate prefixes very quickly now in this question right in this question you you went to a you have taken this a then you have taken b c d you are at this position you are taking a then you are taking a same element you are taking same element you are taking so why you want to repeat it again why you want to repeat it again if you have a and a here you can take in a single iteration right you can say single iteration why you want to go till this a then you will go this a it's not required right so to take that to take that we need to use try what is try now let's it's simple it's try is very simple data structure it's simple in the beginning it feel like it's a complex one but it's not it's not let's try to understand how 
how tree how tree work this is my root this is my root node root node for root node right he is tell the he, in the question he has mentioned that my characters are from a to z lower case english letters so this, this is root now first this is my a this is my a this is my b i will build b then it is my c now you came across another a this is my zeroth index it index 1 you are come across another a but you can reuse it right why you want to go and build it if you are if you are not reusing it you need to recompute it again and again if you do that it will take lot of time like brute force won't work here so here e then you are building a then b c d f you can build b c d f directly you can build b c d f directly this is how you build the tree now while iterating when now you build the tree while searching right while searching what you can do now you are at a so okay i will come to a first i will come to a then i can go to i can go to this node or i can start from the root node because because you now you are at a i can go to this node i can go to this node or i can start at the root node try to understand what i am saying you can because you have included a you have included a for this a for this a i will go to the another a i will go to the another a or else or else i will go to the root and i will try to calculate one more a. i want minimum of all this length so i need to try all the possibilities all the possibilities so first i came to a then i will i will say i will go to root i will go to root then you are encountering a then you will come to a then you have b you will come to b then you have c then you will come to c you will come to c then you will check now you are at d right now you will check d is d is there it's not there so you will return the maximum like you want the minimum value so you will try to return the maximum values maximum values this is invalid till you got the valid string you will try to do it repeatedly you will do you will reach a and you will go to the root or else you will come here and after coming here you will go to the root suppose you are coming here you you can go here or you can go to the root anywhere you can go because you need to start from the beginning to get the minimum values to check the all possibilities to check the all possible first you will see the try try declaration try declaration is simple class try node you have this is my root node all english case lower lower in case english letters a to z we are going to store all this we are using 26 only because we will be doing some s of i this is my character minus a i will be doing so this i am doing i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to 25 all values i am keeping null and is and as false all values are null this is my initialization of my try node this is how we will initialize now let's see the exact solution now class solution here i have declared try and i have declared it as a root node and while declaration right root is equals to new try node first we will initialize if you want to get the root directly i will return the root now first insertion first insertion try dot insert i first every variable i need to insert it right i need to insert it while ins inserting while inserting k is equals to s of i minus a if this is my root node if you are encountering a that is means index 0 if it is not there i will create it i will create the root node now suppose you are encountering a again a again you will say that yes this node is there so i don't want to create i will go to the this node so you will either create it or you will go to the that node if it is exist at the end you will say that t dot is and equals to true this is how you will build it now important is searching try dot search s comma it index 0 i am going to start this is 0 is this index my target index string target index and total length is n 0 n and s we got this search is the most important thing here now try node star is equals to root every time we will start with the root what we will do every time i will try to start with the root because from root only we can find the prefixes right from root only we can find the prefixes first i will go to root and i will check k is equals to s of j minus a if that is not equals to null i have two possibilities answer equals to minimum of answer comma i can take that prefix that means i can take this word i can take this word i can take this word and i can go to the top i can go to the root i can go to the root so here it's i'm doing answer equals to minimum of answer comma 1 plus search of s comma i j plus 1 that means you, suppose you are having a here 
next you are having b you are taking a and you are for b right you are going to the root you are going to the root or else or else what you can do you got a here what i will i will come down i will come down i will check for b like if b is there i will come down h is equals to h arrow this b then then same thing if it is not equal to null for next iteration i can, i can go to the any prefix so i will come to the root i will come to the or else i will come down in this way i will try to calculate the minimum as minimum as possible here answer equals finally we are going to return the answer and finally we are if it is greater than or equal to 10 power 4 that means i have told right in the constraint he has mentioned maximum it can go till 10 power 3 target dot length is 10 power 3 so maximum 10 power 3 i can have so finally if it is greater i will return minus 1 or else i will return k now if you observe can you optimize it further can you optimize now if you see by this int i is changing every time i is changing every time so i can use i as my state i as my state so i will go for dp and i as my state now here i have declared dp 10 power 4 plus 1 after declaring it i have made all the values as minus 1 and by iteration i have assigned my answer to my dp and i am checking if my all value is already pre-computed if it is already pre-computed i am returning dp of i if it is not i am performing the operation so in this the time complexity will be here here it will be like a j equals to i so total you are iterating n times and you are saying for every possibilities so it will be n the size of the my target size of my target into size of my target into this dp into this dp because this loop this loop you need to calculate this loop will take order of n and this dp will take order of n so it will be order of n into n will be my time complexity for this problem and you are using any extra space yes i am using lot of extra space so you can consider it as order of n is my extra space so i think that you understood this problem i tried tried my best to explain this explain this solution in the best possible way so if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section i will try to help you uh, if you learned something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and I, have, and I have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further updates i will see you in the next video till then bye bye